Okay, so first up on the list is Patrick Kane from the Chicago Blackhawks. He has no goals and just two assists in his last seven games. And he also has just two goals in his last 15 games total. Uh, he has just four goals overall and 22 points in 30 games this season. He is, however, coming off a season in which he scored 92 points last season. Uh, he tied his career high with 66 assists. Uh, this is a guy that's only had one season in the last decade in which he didn't average a point per game. Okay? Uh, and even then he had 76 points in a full 82 games. Not too bad. His shooting percentage is a career worst 3.8% this season. His previous worst was set, albeit two years ago, at 7.9%, which is twice as good as he's shooting now, obviously. Uh, remember last season, he went through the exact same thing at this time. He, he only had two goals in 25 games from mid-November to mid-January. Then in February, he shot almost 15%. In March, he, he shot just shy of 11% and had 26 points in 14 games in the month. Uh, I was super happy. I had him on my team, so I went through his struggles. Uh, I was super happy I didn't trade him when he was struggling, and I did think about it, um, but didn't do it. Happy I didn't do it. Uh, that is always why I say buy players that you trust and believe in long term. Short term, who knows? You're not going to be able to catch every single streak but over the long term come april that's when you know if if you know that was the right decision so i do think patrick can you can you can buy low um and just give him a shot because i do think especially considering he's only he's only shooting 3.8 percent right now he is going to come back and over to you know over the course of january and february uh as we get later on in the season He's going to perform a lot better than he is right now. Next player on the list is Yevgeny Kuznetsov from the Washington Capitals. Another player that's had a tough start to the season, but has bounced back a bit. Um, he has 25 points in 32 games. And recently, he did have a six-game point streak snapped against Dallas. He only has four goals this season. Again, like Patrick Kane, shooting a career-worst 5.1%. He shot 11.5% in each of the last two seasons and 14.7% prior to that. Uh, and though he has been seeing time in the second line lately, he led all forwards in ice time against Toronto on Saturday, playing over 21 minutes. And I do think his recent point streak is a good sign of things to come. Uh, next on the list is Tyler Bertuzzi from the Detroit Red Wings. Now here's a guy that's had extremely bad luck this year. Just extremely bad luck. So he injured his hand while blocking a shot in just the second game of the season and missed 13 games as a result, then plays seven more games before injuring his other hand in a game on November 30th. So he's played a total of just nine games this season with just four points, a goal, and three assists. Uh, he's due to be out of action until mid-January, which makes this a perfect time to buy him cheap. Uh, and remember, he is just 27 years old, coming off a career year last season, in which he had 30 goals and 32 assists in 68 games while averaging just eight seconds shy of 20 minutes per game. So that about wraps it up for me. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.